feel like, uh, you know, if I was, you know, evaluating um, someone coming in that weren't coming or, or someone with aspirations working in this space would just be uh, just their, their transparency, enthusiasm and commitment to what it is they're doing. And just, uh, you know, just really understand for the former athlete uh, coming to that space is really being open about what you know and what you want to do. Um, nobody's going to hold anything against you for not having your soft skills up to date or maybe lacking in other areas, which a lot of, uh, you know, non-athletes will have professionally, will have, will have um, a leg up on you. Come in and be open about these things. You know what I mean? Because there is a space, there is a, uh, an area for you to share from your experience and your voice, because what you did as an athlete on the quarter to field is of paramount importance to the direction of, of the, the, the game, to the business of the game. And, and I found that uh, a lot of people like to hear the athletes' voices, like the real unfiltered voices in, in a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, the development and building out of, of programs in, in the direction of the game. Um, and I think li likewise for uh, any kind of young professional coming into the space as well, just uh, really be open about what you're, what you're looking for and, and, and what you like and what you don't like. And, and uh, I think that'll really help find that, that perfect fit for you. Um, you know, I have learned that just, you know, you got to be ready to, to move around. I mean, to have positions with either the league office or with different teams, you obviously got to be ready to relocate, uh, very similar to being an athlete. So you got to be, you know, willing to, to possibly be in a city or part of the country that you may not have uh, previously thought of living in. And, uh, and and be ready to move around, but uh, you know primarily it's it's, it's come in there and, and, and fill, your, fill your fill your way out exactly where you want to be at, and just being being open to uh, 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 learning a lot of new uh, uh, areas of the business. I mean that was one thing that uh, I, I continually learn things about this business, or it grows in ways um, that I was unaware of when I first even started working in player development. So uh, just to be able to get in there and just be open to to really where it is that you want to land. And, uh, you know, for the athlete, be, be, be really open about really is what you what you know, uh, what reservations you may have about something and and uh, exactly uh, what it is you're trying to accomplish as well. Awesome. And then urge your next on this one. Yeah, for me, I, um, a few things that step out, um, you know, I think collaboration and teamwork, um, you know, I, that's probably within the whether it's with the with the team or within a sports organization, I think teamwork is important. And I think you know someone that's able to come in and mesh within a team, um, you know, is 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 important. Um, someone that's dependable, um, that you can kind of rely on, not only for when it's different jobs or different tasks, but you know our business is very events based also. So is it someone that I know? You know, when we have a call time, whether early or late, that we can rely on them when it comes to completing this task. Like, can I trust them with this? Can I trust them with this responsibility um, is, is important. And I mean, I, I'm always looking for, uh, for me, like creative thinking, right? So, you know, I've been within with the NBA almost 14 years this summer um, and I'm always looking for new thoughts. So anytime there's someone new that comes in, comes into our department, it's always refreshing because they're coming in with a, a very with no with a um, you know very blind lens, and they you know just they don't know what they don't know. So you know I think that's always helpful. Um, and then probably the final thing that I would say is kind of um, being proactive and willing to say yes. Um, in this in this industry, I think you know raising your hand um, for whether it's a task that you like or whether it's a task that you're interested in, I think um, it's something that's helpful. At least you know I think about my my journey um, and how I got into player development. I didn't know what player development was a thing, honestly. But then as I started to learn that player development was a thing, and kind of saw my interest, I began to raise my hand. I wasn't in the player development department, but I was in other departments. And anytime there was a player development project that came up, I wanted to raise my hands and, and you, know, you know, work on it because it was just something that I was passionate in. So just always willing to say yes to things, um, whether you like it or whether you don't like it. Okay. 
some other traits I think that um, translate well to to not just player development but sort of the the sports industry is your like emotional intelligence your you know your emotional IQ and just knowing you know kind of what everyone else has said like uh, one's a good time to step up one's a good time to take you know a step back or one's a good time to listen um, you know one's a good time to give my idea one's a good time to not I think those those things are also important you know in sort of addition to, to what everyone said I think you also have to be okay, um, you know, just, I know Urge has been around for, you know, 13 years and anytime we're at an event or something, you know, we're not doing our normal job all the time. Sometimes you have to wear five hats and sometimes one of your hats is picking up boxes and putting them down. And I think, you know, if that's the mindset that you have is that you're not bigger than the work you're not bigger than you know picking up and putting down boxes to be direct like then i think you can really excel in in the sports industry because a lot of the time that's sort of what it takes um to to get to wherever as cherokee said you you want your end game to be and i think another thing that's that's totally okay is, is to be open like if you don't know what you want to do that's okay like Ur said i mean i didn't know what player development was and i was open to sort of figuring it out and then being okay, being flexible is a big thing that we look for. Like, um, you know, it, that can be with your career path. That could be with like your day-to-day -day job, right? Like I have to be flexible and sort of um, how I do my approach and, and how things are approached to me as well, um, I think are, are two really big ones. And then the third one I would say that, you know, is huge is just being someone that researches. I think, maybe that's not the right way to say it, but I, I know, you know, you look around the sports industry, sports reporters now, all they do is they look into the analytics. They know every detail about every player possible. I'm sure there's a reporter out there that knows the design of every one of Cherokee's tattoos. And before he talks to him, he already has that in the back of his head, right? I think it's the same thing in the sports industry. So anytime you have a conversation with someone or anytime you finally get that job and you're looking to, to grow upon it or do something, bring those ideas that, that Cherokee and Urge said, um, be that change maker. You have to do the research and actually look into what that is. Um, I think I can't, uh, I, there are so many times that someone has done like an informational interview and you ask them like, oh, like Urge said, like, okay, what, what's an idea for what we do in player development? And they, they don't know. Um, you know, I think that's, that's a huge miss. And, and to make that step into the sports industry, you have to know everything. It's, it's unfair and it, it's sort of kind of scary, but that's sort of how it is if you want to make that step. So to, to, to the last piece was just what John touched on was that, uh, uh, you know, be willing to and eagerly looking to wear multiple hats. Um, you know, John really touched on it. There's, you know, you come into a role and your role could really spread out quickly and you'll take on other responsibilities and uh, as well as being, you know, a lot of the event-based um, on-site uh, part of our work, uh, a lot of that is wearing multiple hats and you just, you, you lend a hand wherever you, you, you can. And it's very much like in a sense, like if you go from being a, the star player on your team and you see what, what managers do and practice all day, man, they basically keep that gym together run around doing all that stuff. And a lot of times when we're on site, that's, that's our whole staff is doing that. Everybody's trying to help each other out. Everybody's picking up, everybody's, you know, where people are leaving off, sticking their heads in, hey, can we help you out here or there? So yeah, it just, it, that really stands out. It's really helpful, really helps, you know, us as a business to grow. And, it, and ultimately it really helps you, you know, as, as a young professional athlete, learn other aspects of the business. You know, a lot of times I don't really see what other people do until we're on site and I'm sitting in a room with them and I'm like, wow, you guys have to handle all of this for this event. It's like, wow. And I don't get to see that when I'm at the office all the time, but when we're on site, I really get to appreciate what their schedules look like. So um, yeah, just, just the, the willingness to wear multiple hats and to actively try to find those hats as well. Uh, just it will really, really bear some great fruit. Probably the biggest is patience. Patience to get in the industry and once you're in the industry kind of the the patience to you know for your just kind of your overall professional growth 
you know, everyone's journey, you know, some accelerate, you know, shoot through the roof, others kind of go at snail's pace, but I think you just have to be patient within your journey. And I think with that patience comes what Chief and John alluded to, which is like the type of work you put in. I think no matter what you do, like if you work hard, um, your person that operates with integrity, like it'll go a, a super, super long way. And I think more opportunities will come, you know, if if you have those, if you have those three pieces, patience, hard working, and integrity. Like I think at some point, you know, whatever you're looking for, whatever you're destined for will 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 come. Um, you know, but I think those are kind of three pieces that'll help you get to get to that point. Um, asking questions. Um being okay with um not being the the cool person like kind of i guess like checking your ego a little bit right like it's okay like oh if you feel like it's a dumb question it's not um and i i think it kind of goes into cherokee's point too of um just being like a, a sponge the more of a sponge you are um with your values that that urge kind of laid out like you you're gonna excel um you know, Matt, at no matter what it is, like, um, you know, if it's in sports, if it's wherever, um, I think those are some really great keys to keep with you.